Good morning and uh, welcome. My name is Robert Dijkroff. I'm the director and Leon Levy professor here at the Institute for Advanced Study. And uh, it's a great pleasure to welcome all of you to what I feel would be, uh, uh, would be a wonderful, uh, wonderful day uh, celebrating uh, the field of uh, computation. Uh, we were looking through the lens of computing uh, to a wider range of the sciences. And if anything, that lens is a wide angle lens. And uh, it's a great pleasure to welcome you also here at the Institute because I think this is a topic that uh, has been here for a long time. As you know, the Institute is an independent research institution uh, that um, has really takes kind of the long view on things we kind of celebrating uh, deep problems, uh, the, the quality and intensity of individual researchers. And certainly I th think the field of computation, of course, has developed spectacularly. You know, it's the, uh, uh, to be honest, I think if we go back uh, and somebody would, uh, through time travel, uh, be here from 50 years back, I think there are many things would, certainly walking around on the campus, it would look all quite familiar. And many things we do look familiar, but I think the way we deal with information and computing is something absolutely spectacularly different. Now, today will be very much about the uh, present and the future, but of course we also should s s briefly mention the beginning. Um, that beginning of computing here at the Institute has been wonderfully described by George Dyson, uh, the son of Freeman Dyson, who uh, uh, as a young boy, uh, was in some sense also witness to this, playing at the scrapyards here of uh, the first computing effort. He won wrote this wonderful book, Turing Cathedral, that I can really recommend. And, um, and he describes kind of the efforts of particular kind of John von Neumann here in the 1940s and 50s. Uh, this is wonderful line where von Neumann in 1946 says, I, th <coughs> about, I think about something more important than atom bomb, I'm thinking about computers. And that's quite forward thinking. And actually, if you read the book, it's, it's truly amazing in some sense how primitive from modern point of view the technology was. Uh, the total memory of this first computer built here was only uh, five uh, kilobytes, uh, less than now is used for an icon on your, uh, on your telephone screen. Uh, in fact, the whole memory consisted of 40 kind of second-hand uh, cathode ray tubes that uh, were used and the whole thing was built from uh, World War II scrap parts because clearly this was something that, you know, you uh, had to do on, on the small budget. Uh, it's also not true that the first computer ever was built here. It was not the second and the third, but it was the, uh, the first computer kind of built according to the modern architecture the von Neumann architecture. And one thing was kind of amazing, if you read about these early days, is not only uh, the uh, heroic efforts in building that machine, but kind of the wide-ranging view that uh, John von Neumann and his collaborators had, uh, exploring artificial life. Um, my favorite story is the first weather predictions that were done here in 1949, and the favorite line is that you know the first effort to predict the weather took 48 hours so with, with great precision yesterday's weather was predicted um, um, but and in many ways that program was special too it uh, was what we now call an example of a triple helix project it was something that was uh, financed one-third uh, by the US government one-third by industry um, and one third by philanthropy, namely by the trustees and founders of the Institute. So we had like a triple helix product before the, sec the double helix was even discovered. Um, 60 years ago, it would have been kind of easy to organize this conference. We just asked for Norman to speak on all of this. Uh, now we are further advanced, so now we need five, uh, I would say equally remarkable people here. Uh, four very distinguished speakers that you know, I want to thank already uh, at this moment for, for coming here on a Saturday and, and taking this kind of uh, up this rather daunting task of uh, describing the impact of computation on these large fields, academic fields. And the fifth magical ingredient is the organizer, which our own Avi Wiktorsen, who is truly a magnet uh, both for the young researchers here and for the very distinguished speakers, which I think they all kind of said yes within 12 hours or something. It's just amazing. Avi is the Herbert, Herbert H. Maas professor uh, in the School of Mathematics 
He uh, is a uh, very distinguished theoretical computer scientist with a wide range of interests and activities in complexity and in the inter interaction with mathematics. And so we're extremely proud to have him here. And I don't think we could have a better person to uh, organize this day, but also not a better person to uh, introduce the speakers to you. So uh, for my part, I just want to welcome you again and hope you have a terrific day. Thank you very much. Thank you.